Stay fucked up by coming in a coconut. Read by Kem. Anyway, around eight years back, I lived in more. Around eight years back, I lived in northern Mozambique, a, a coastal South African, Southern African country with quite a warm climate. My mother, well, at the time, was going through a health nut phase, and only buying foods she deemed ne- she deemed healthy enough. One of these was coconuts. She would buy several coconuts a week for, to use in the food from the local market. Anyway, being a horny teenager, I fell out to regular intervals. Unfortunately, there were some severely stressful exams coming up for me, and as much as fapping required a higher peak than usual, as, as such, my fapping reached a higher peak than usual, and I was feeling pretty sexually frustrated. One time, I hear that my mother is going to be out for pretty much the entire afternoon. Horny me decides it would be a fantastic idea to fuck a coconut. Honestly, to this day, I can't fathom why I thought this would be that would be a good idea. But, but my train of thought back then was clearly somewhat clogged. Pardon me. I end up grabbing the coconut drill, and through twenty minutes ish of twenty ish minutes of con- concentrated ca- of concentrated effort, I end up creating a large large enough hole for me to stick my poker into. I decide that it requires some loop and grab the nearest slippery thing, some butter, before shoving it into, shoving it into the coconut, followed shortly by my meat. I fart the coconut and it actually feels pretty damn good, so I blow my load, shove the coconut under my bed and, cont- and continue about my day. For the next week, the coconut is my saviour. Whenever I get off, want to get off, I simply take it out and fuck it in its delightfully tight hole. <laughs> Made each but better each time by accumulating by the accumulating volumes of my semen and butter acting as lubricant. It's heaven. Uh, now, before I continue, now before I continue, I, I best mention that at the time uh, that at the time Arius was con- was experiencing quite humid, muggy weather, muggy weather, which ex- which exacerbated an ing- an already existing fly problem. Disgustingly fat, bloated flies were, com- were commonly found around our house, and the exterminators couldn't really do anything about it because it was a localized area problem that would go away in the winter. About a week, about a week after the initial coconut fuck, I've been using it pretty much every day since then. I begin to notice a few more flies, an odd, unpleasant smell from my room. This must be this must be the coconut, right? So I decided I'd fuck it once more for. Before I throw it out out and get a new one. Worst mistake I ever made. You see, the reason for for the increased number of flies was that the coconut was evidently, in hindsight, a nearly perfect place to lay eggs. As As I penetrate the coconut one last time, I begin to feel a strange wriggling sensation. Puzzled, I pull out my cock and and to just I pull my cock. Uh, to discover that is ri- that it is covered in rotted and mouldy butter and semen, teeming with tiny fucking maggots. They were wriggling all over my dickhead, and some, and some were even trying to force their way up my urethra. I screamed, threw the coconut against a wall, which made the situation worse by spilling the contents. Hours of vigorous cock rubbing, scrubbing, vomiting, and cleaning the remnants were spent reflecting on what the fuck I'd done with my life. Never, never again. TLDR, don't fuck coconuts.